what's up guys uh, good morning welcome again to uh, Orkiza garage uh, today I'm doing an oil change for 2012 sign TC uh, these are all the same onwards uh, higher year for the sign TC Toyota Corollas uh, Toyota Camry because some of them are also uh, Toyota RAV4s because they're all the same with the oil filter if it's uh, paper they're all the same it's a quick oil change probably if you're doing at your driveway probably takes you like 20 minutes 30 minutes it depends if you have the special tools uh, if it's paper you have the special oil filter wrench and I'll show you what it looks like these are the wrench that uh, either you need it because there's two types there's the big ones and then there's the smaller one okay this one so I think I'm gonna use the the bigger one first to see if it's too tight i'm gonna use the smaller one okay so this is where i keep all my uh, uh all maintenance uh drawers all the old change all the tools so right now i'm just uh warming up the engine so it's more easier to drain okay this is the filter it's all paper that's right here uh you can get the Toyota's or you can get the uh O'Reilly or AutoZone, these are the part number for Toyota. Um, yeah, so it's easy. This one, once you break loose the oil filter housing, it's easier to drain. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set up all my tools and then do the oil change. The 2012 and up, these are all the same. Um, some of them are the same with the uh, Corollas and rav force and some of the four cylinder cameras. All right, so what you do is easier to drain the oil, take it off the dipstick, and open up the um, oil cap. All right, I'm gonna set up the camera underneath. All right, so Toyotas are 14 millimeter on the drain plugs. Okay, and then be careful with the the gasket right here, the blue ones. And then the location of the filter is right here. So we just have to take this uh, clips. There's a clips, one clips right here. Oh, actually there's two. And able to get access to the oil filter um, housing. So while, while it's draining, take it off the, the clips. Okay. So we got access to that. So these are the, the housing right here. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, close the drink plug and then I'll let it go later on. I'll open it again. Just for now. Okay. And then I'm using the bigger one. And then this one are uh, 24 millimeters. Okay. 
So you have to attach the the teeth. Okay. So once you loosen it up, get the drain pan, and then do it at hand. Let it drip. Yeah, there's a lot of oil on it. Okay. This one right here. Okay, right, so I had to fill the housing. You need this, uh, the gasket uh, pick so the first gasket o-ring so it comes with the gasket o-ring and then your filter right here okay and once you're putting this one you have to lube this part the o-ring because sometimes um, it get broken or get ripped off because it's too dry okay and that's it it's just like almost done and then I had to just put the oil so lube this one this part right here all around and then hand tread first because sometimes this one get uh get uh lost thread this one right here okay all right guys so i put it in hand thread first and then you see the the teeth right here there's the teeth right here so you have to match this is what it looks like when you have the purple wash. See the teeth right here? Okay, once you get uh, tight, now you can put your wrench. and then tie them up So it's snug, that was good. Don't over tighten them up because sometimes this is once over time this plastic get brittle and stuck and it's pain in the ass to, to take it off and then you don't want this one to get broken because you know if you get this one broke from Toyota it's probably like 60 bucks 70 bucks I don't know how much right now. Now I'm done I'm just gonna uh, close the drain plug and then fill the oil All right guys, so I I uh, closed the drain plug Tightening up my uh, oil filter wrench right here. So now I'm just gonna um, Put the oil upstairs 
And also guys, I got this one from Harbor Freak. I like this one. Easy. You got the adapters. You got many adapters for this one. I really like it. Easy to use. Okay, let me set it up my camera. Alright guys, ready? I'm using a mobile one. Um, 530 This is basically a uh, nose feel uh, funnel And this is a uh, five quarts. And this is my last quarts. Now I'm done with the oil, oil change. I'm just gonna start the car. Oh, first I'm going to uh, show you how to reset the maintenance. So this is the odometer right here. This one right here, that's the button. You're gonna put on the trip A, right here, trip A, and hold the button. Hold the button right here. Let's see if I can, uh, set up my camera so you guys can see it okay i having a hard time to set up my camera guys so but i'm gonna but i have uh, another video just to uh show how to reset the maintenance light for this one okay sorry about that now once the car start check underneath if there's any uh, leak going on that's the most important before you uh, you finish it up or wrap it up all right and then don't forget to reset the maintenance stuff so there's no leak everything's good Sp I'm gonna spray some uh, WD uh, brake cleaner here for the oil everything's good 